Samsung Galaxy Z Fold phones are the most costly serial devices this year. Although the series is intended to have high-quality features, the reality is frequently disappointing, and it appears that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will arrive with outdated technology, at least in one respect. As revealed by Leica Ice Universe, it looks like the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6 will debut later this year without any camera upgrades. According to published information, these are not minor changes. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 will use the same CMOS sensors as the Galaxy Z Fold 5 before it. Worse, the same is true for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and its predecessor, implying that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will use the same camera hardware as the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Reportedly, the main camera, ultra-wide camera, telephoto camera, and internal UDC selfie camera are all unaltered from last year's phone. Although the sensors are identical, we anticipate that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 cameras will outperform those of the Z Fold 5 because to software enhancements and potential lenses. At an estimated retail price of $1,800, it's frustrating to discover that the foldable phone may not be able to provide the big advances that fans of the series have grown to expect. The speculated Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could be a different casing. Moving on, the One UI 6.1 is now available on Samsung's 2023 flagship phone, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. However, the long-awaited software upgrade has caused odd side effects in some smartphones. This could include longer charging times, a higher incidence of fingerprint sensor failures, and an inability to browse the new terms and conditions acceptance page for AI systems. Galaxy AI without entering safe mode. The S23 Ultra's 6.8-inch 1440p Dynamic AMOLED 2X display would be unusually slow for some users under One UI 6.1. Samsung has now acknowledged this problem, but is not responsible for this problem, but is not responsible for it. Instead, the South Korean company claims that Google Discover, which provides news and other information, is to blame for the problem. Furthermore, the business believes that forcefully closing the application, upgrading it on the Play Store, and returning to the apps page to clear its cache will cure the problem. Hopefully, this will help the Galaxy S23 Ultra to maintain its impressive performance. The Galaxy S23 Ultra starts at $855 on Amazon. If Samsung wants power users, and a very niche market, to take it seriously, it needs to do more than it did with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The next Fold must have a more competitive camera setup, among a few other things, such as a wider display, a larger battery, and a faster charging solution, to name a few. Samsung hasn't made many improvements to the camera in its foldable over several years and generations, so it's about time the company stood back and assessed its place in the market, especially if it wants to stay at the top. Setting new standards is crucial for Samsung now more than ever, because European manufacturers like Google, OnePlus, and Honor are posing a threat to the company's top spot. Standard and offer a unique high-end experience to cater to a wider target audience and new potential buyers. This type of phone that costs $1,800 shouldn't and must not provide such a mediocre camera experience. And while the Fold 5 takes decent photos, it looks quite bad compared to the S24 Ultra, the Pixel 8 series, and other premium flagships that retail for $500 to $800 less. While some might argue you're buying a phone for the form factor, we could counter-argue that you should get a far more competitive experience and overall quality at that price. $1,800 is a lot of money, and for that amount, you could have a good tablet and a flagship smartphone, making for a remarkable experience, but that's not the idea. The main argument is that Samsung hasn't innovated in a while, and it's past due for the business to implement the long-awaited and heavily sought camera upgrades for its upcoming flagship foldable smartphone. Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section, and stay tuned for further updates. Until next time, peace out.